All right, guys, here's a little preview of my setup. I uh, just got the truck mount installed in my trailer. I'll let you guys guess um, where I'm from, <laughs> if the uh, trailer gives you any indication. Bought it off of some tailgaters. Got a sweet deal on it. All right, so here's the inside. Um, <clears throat> I've had the truck mount for, I don't know, probably six months. I haven't really done anything with it. It's been sitting in my backyard because I uh, didn't have a van or anything for it. But finally, I've got this trailer, and I got that installed. Everything's pretty much thrown in here at the moment, but at least that's installed. Um, this is my beat-up looking pretty bad little giant. i got to figure out <clears throat> what I'm going to do because the bottom piece of metal that goes down there, that sheet metal, completely was rusted out and the bolts that this thing was being held in for, by just ripped out. But anyways, um, it's live, it's got a live water feed, I guess is what it's called. It runs all the way up to my uh, hose reel, the garden hose. Um, one thing that I was struggling on for the longest time was basically when I bought this thing, this piece here was a piece of plastic and it was stripped out and broken. And it's a two and a half inch fitting. I had a really, really hard time finding a two and a half inch fitting that would fit. Um, basically nowhere sells the plastic ABS or whatever PVC. So I had to, had to go out and buy this fitting, make it work. But then my problem was that my pump was sitting right here and there was no room for it. So I, I bought some metal and I was going to raise the whole thing up, but I freaking lucked out because this bracket, I was able to basically just slide it off to the side. So now it sits just a little off to the side, not too noticeable, but I dodged a bullet basically because it just barely, just barely touches it. Um, and I don't know, it has like a slight, slight, slight angle tilt on it. Let me know if that's bad guys, if I shouldn't uh, run that. On top of that, what oil do I put in that thing? Because it does have some oil, but I haven't really ran it for too long. Anyways, the machine's still pretty, pretty dirty. I did completely refinish the tank, except the lid. This is what the whole thing looked like when I got it. I uh, sanded the whole thing down and painted that. Um, this is where the uh, little giant mounts up to. Just don't have it in yet. Got a rotor back. I'm um, just using bungee cords to hold that onto the wall right now. This is my portable that I started out and I've been using. Take it around over here. Again, everything thrown in here at the moment. Um, here's my garden hose set up. I think I have like probably 300 feet of, or not 300, maybe. 200 feet of uh, solution line right there. Uh, I threw away probably 100 feet of hose because it was all spliced and <clears throat> it was really, really leaking all over the place. And there was a bunch of really short pieces, so I just got rid of a bunch of stuff and split it all up into like 50 foot sections. This is kind of the back side of everything. And uh, so when I put that this new fitting in here, it raised the whole thing up about two inches. And so there, th this thing was gone. Uh, this thing was off. It didn't line up. So I basically I just threw some two by fours right underneath. Probably can't see down there, um, but it it raised it up perfectly. The only thing I really need to do is get this mounted. This is like the uh, vacuum gauge, which was spliced or not spliced. It was threaded into this fitting when I first bought it. But I don't really know if I can drill and tap that metal right there. I think I'm just going to do it right on the uh, this tube. Hopefully you make it easier for me. When I when I first uh, got the water hooked up to this thing, uh, I found out exactly why everything is peeling off and it's all rusty. The auto fill valve in here, or the whatever the fill valve um, was broken. 
and um, it didn't stop. It didn't ever stop. And so I basically had like a freaking geyser just whoosh, shooting out water everywhere. Another problem I had was this fitting here was leaking. It was just like a faucet. And um, I don't know if this is going to hold up very long, but this is basically like for pneumatic tools. Uh, I, I tried it one time. It w was fine so far. Um, as I move it around, it, I don't know, a little bit leaked out, but I think it would get me by for right now. Let me know, guys, uh, if you know where I can get the proper fitting for, like, the garden hose. I think it's, like, a low-pressure hose. Anyways, that is the setup at the moment. Give me some uh, advice on things I should do, things I need to do. Got 6,500 hours on the thing, but it starts up, starts right up. And uh, I tested it with about 100 feet of line on there, and the suction was great. I mean, much better than, much better than that. Um, so I can't wait to be able to just continually use this thing without having to stop to empty and fill up my buckets. Anyways, hope that gives you guys a good uh, kind of view of my setup at the moment. Give me some pointers, things I need to do since I really haven't even done a job yet with this thing also I'm kind of scared with this thing let me know if you guys would still use it um, this was where the propane line came in uh, I don't have the propane tank I have one like that I got it's like you know from a barbecue or whatever which I, which I plan on using I plan on keeping it up in this toolbox in the front just to kind of isolate it from everything but uh let me know of things I should do to this because uh, it's kind of like my last thing. I really want to really, really, really want to be able to have the heat um, from that, from this machine. But I got to somehow fabricate that piece of metal down there. Anyways, the video's running way too long. Talk to you guys later.